Hello guys. You are on the channel Alice Reddit Stories. Enjoy watching. Story 1. Am I the cause for the end of a 9.5 year relationship, and is there any chance my wife, 31F, and I, 37M, can ever patch things up? I am polyamorous, and have been for as long as I can remember, but I didn't always know how to frame it or what to call it. I don't know exactly how I became that way, or if I was born that way, or if it's just the way my brain rationalizes things or what. I'm an INTJ, if that helps, or hurts, so I know that I lean more toward logic than emotion when thinking about things, and I know that polyamory simply makes more sense to me than monogamy does, from a purely logical standpoint. I am not free from feelings of jealousy, but I do my best to look inward and understand what that initial feeling of jealousy really means and where it comes from versus letting it dictate my actions toward misplaced aggression. I can be possessive or territorial at times, but I do my best to acknowledge my feelings and emotions and try to understand where they come from, and to be mindful of how my feelings might be influencing my actions. I bring up the fact that I am polyamorous so that you can understand that this is not simply a straightforward monogamous situation, and it comes into play in many forms throughout this story, anyway, let's continue. In 2011, I found what I now believe to be my soulmate. I didn't believe in that sort of thing then, and I wouldn't for another six years, but we'll get to that. We'll call her Casey for privacy, Casey, 31F, and I, 37M, were in the same friend group, a community of people that had formed around a local 24-hour coffee shop just outside the main city. The fact that all manner of different groups of people were all able to do something as simple and universal as grab a cup of coffee resulted in it becoming a main gathering spot for people at all hours of the day and night and eventually a hodgepodge community formed, and in that community, friends became close and unclose, involved and uninvolved, but it always felt like a family of sorts, and it was within this family that Casey and I became close. It was not uncommon for things like polyamory to be accepted in this community, as it was a melting pot of a myriad of different cultural and social backgrounds with most of us joining the community in our late teens and most of the community consisting of people in their early slash mid slash late twenties, and eventually fading out to live their own lives but still being welcome in their thirties. I was always honest about my poly nature with Casey, and they understood. We eventually started dating, and because of our mutual friends and how close the community was, there were multiple times where friends we were close with became physically involved with us. We were all close and trusted each other and were attracted to one another, so as long as Casey and I were in agreement and were honest with one another, everything was okay. We were crazy in love, but things were far from perfect. Casey would distance from me on a quasi-regular basis, and I felt alone in the relationship often enough for it to be an issue. I was also cheated on multiple times throughout the relationship, which should be difficult to do, considering how open we were, but somehow Casey still found a way to cross boundaries and lie and hide things when it wasn't necessary to do so. We had a breakup in 2017, which lasted for a little over six months before we eventually got back together. This is when I determined that Casey was my soulmate, as we seemingly defied all odds to get back together, but I won't get into that, as this story is already going to be far too long as it is. Within a year of being back together, we got engaged, and made an agreement to stop any physical slash sexual involvement with others once we were married. I agreed to these terms, despite being poly by nature, because I loved this person with all my heart, and I wasn't currently involved with anyone else, so I didn't have to cut anyone off. All of our friends understood and supported us, 
and we were married in 2019. However, it wasn't long before Casey began flirting with some of our closer friends again. I wasn't entirely against it, but I was following Casey's lead and respecting Casey's wishes, so I was a bit confused by the mixed signals. We set a new boundary that casual flirting was okay, and sending lewds slash nudes was okay, so long as anything slash everything was shared between us, but things wouldn't progress to physical intimacy. This went on for a few months, until a newer person that joined our community admitted to having a crush on Casey. TLDR, I ruined my marriage by allowing a third to enter our relationship and then developed feelings and then let those feelings cloud my judgment until it drove a wedge between my wife and I. Now I want to repair things, but she refuses to speak to me, and I'm wondering if there's anything I can do about that, or if I am forced to just move on and let her live her life. Story 2 Friend spread a rumor about me. My ex believes it. Now I look like a jerk. What do I do? So my ex and I broke up a few months ago. It doesn't really matter why in TBH I didn't get a reason, she added me and then added me for a few weeks on various social medias and stuff. It was really weird, but that's not really part of the story, basically. A friend of mine told his girlfriend that my ex sent me pics. This isn't true at all. He did it because he was afraid she would break up with him, so he made up rumors about people, not just me. Anyways, she loves drama and totally freaked out when she heard this. She told people and stuff. A good friend of mine who was there told me about it. Then the guy who started the rumor started telling other people. I figured it wasn't that big of a deal until people who I literally never talked to started asking me about it. And then I kinda freaked out. And I found out that my friend's GF was going to tell my ex. And I'm friends with a lot of her friends and we go to a small school. So I kinda have to tell her, I didn't want it to look like I was trying to get some weird form of revenge. So I reach out to my ex and tell her everything about how this guy started the rumors and I had nothing to do with it and all of that. And she was nice and understanding and said like, yeah that guy's weird and some other stuff that I don't remember. So she goes and confronts the guy. I'm not sure what was said. But whatever happened caused her to block me. I got kind of annoyed and asked my friend what he said and he wouldn't answer. He just said you should be thanking me and I did you a favor. So I texted my ex and she was really pissed at me. She was calling the guy and I immature, stupid, not wanting to get dragged in, and said she didn't know who to believe. I don't know how you wouldn't know who to believe if it didn't happen. Anyways I kinda just left it because some of my friends were on the other guy's side and some were on the other and I didn't want a giant argument. I was pretty annoyed about the outcome to the whole thing, but I felt good knowing that I did the right thing, letting her know. But then like a month later, early September, she starts messaging me from her friend's phones and staring at me at parties, at school, and at sports games, and a girl that she knows told me to ask her to homecoming. I said I wouldn't because I'm not going to look desperate and tbh my ex is really immature looking back on it. I also thought they were just trying to make me look like an idiot. Also, some of her friends hate me. Anyways, at homecoming last weekend she kicked me. Twice. Like softly kicked me in the shins. I saw it right in front of me. It was like she was trying to be sneaky but also have me know it was her. And it was 100% on purpose. But like it wasn't hard or angry. I've told people this whole thing, like my parents, because they were college friends with my ex's family and they want us to get back together. Which I wouldn't mind if she actually matured and stuff. 
and they all seem to think she wants to get back with me. Although they don't know the whole part about the rumor of her sending me stuff, I just leave it as someone was spreading rumors and I'm not sure what it was. They want me to like reach out because they think there's some kind of miscommunication. Which I agree there definitely is. But like I'm not reaching out, even though I want to fix whatever thing is happening so we at least can get along. But honestly, I kinda feel bad. I didn't do anything wrong. But I feel like I did. And her friends give me these really angry glances. And I feel awful when I assume that they think I'm a total asshole even if I don't talk to any of them. It ruins my reputation. And a few people I met this year I'd say hi I'm, name, and they're like oh you, in a really weird voice. I'm a really nice person. And some of her friends really like me. But also it's such a weird situation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There are many interesting stories ahead of you.